Ottawa County Department of Public Health presents Beach Watch, a guide to Ottawa County's beach water monitoring program. Ottawa County is home to extraordinary beaches. Approximately 24 miles of sandy shoreline border the western side of the county, providing plenty of opportunity for recreation and exploration of Lake Michigan and its beaches. But like many beachgoers, you may be wondering, how clean is the water? Natural bodies of water contain microorganisms that cannot be seen by the eye, regardless of how clean or clear the water may look. Water sampling is a great way to get a snapshot of the water's quality. Ottawa County's Beach Watch program samples beach water from various public beaches located from Grand Haven to Holland. Beach water is sampled at each location and tested for E. coli once per week from June through September. Let's dive into the sampling process. Water samples are collected at three locations within the swimming area, left, middle, and right. Before the water samples are collected, water quality conditions are assessed through a visual inspection. At each sampling location, the sampling area is visually examined to determine if a change in water color, turbidity, and odor exist, which would indicate potential pollution sources are present. After the visual inspection is completed at each sampling location, a water sample is collected. Water samples are tested for E. coli. Let's explore. E. coli is a type of bacteria found in the intestines of people and animals. BeachWatch uses E. coli as a water quality indicator. When samples test positive for E. coli, this means a source of contamination was present in the water where the sample was collected. Did you know there are many sources of E. coli that can enter the water and contribute to positive test results? Waterfowl, wildlife, rain and agricultural runoff, faulty septic systems, and our favorite pets that may visit the beach. Now that you've learned about the sampling process and E. coli, let's swim on over to surveying. In addition to water testing, on-site surveys are conducted at each beach that is sampled. Surveying consists of assessing beach and water quality conditions, bather load, potential pollution sources, currents, and previous water conditions, and other on-site observations. Assessing these variables allows us to effectively monitor conditions over time. After the samples are collected and the surveying is complete, the samples are taken to the laboratory and are tested for E. coli. Results are available to the public within approximately 24 hours. Test results are posted online at the following locations to help beachgoers stay informed about water quality conditions. What do the results mean? Let's take a look. In the left column, you will see the date the samples were taken at the beach. Next, the beach the samples were taken at. And lastly, the single day geometric mean. If the single day geometric mean is less than 300, the risk of recreational water illnesses is lessened. This means the results from three samples average to less than 300 E. coli per 100 milliliters of water. So how can bacteria and other microbes in beach water affect you? It's important to remember that beaches everywhere and at all times have microorganisms which can cause illness. Exposure to beach water with high levels of contamination could cause ear, eye, nose and throat infections, gastrointestinal illness, or skin rashes. It may also lead to parasitic infections. Prevent sickness. Make a splash and stay healthy. The following preventative steps should always be taken to help prevent recreational water illnesses. Do not feed the birds. Keep pets off the beach. Use the restroom before swimming. Do not swallow lake water. Wash your hands with soap and water before eating. Do not swim in water that smells foul. Shower when you return home and avoid swimming immediately after heavy rainfall. Our beach water is valuable, and so are you. Together, we can help keep waters clean, safe, and fun. So stay safe, make a splash, and be wise about water quality conditions. 